fast when you're doing what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you're doing what you want. What else? What you want? video today's video i'm just deciding to bring you guys along in a week of my life i'm gonna try trying something different a little art vlog so you guys can see what it's like being a teen fashion designer slash influencer slash content creator bringing you guys along as i'm making content making clothes i might even bring you guys whenever i drop them off just the whole nine before we get any further into this video make sure you guys don't 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 forget to subscribe to be a part of the hashtag that's like me squad because we're lit over here and we're posting every week in the summertime we only get in later check the previous uploads we back and we better and also don't forget to follow me on instagram where i be at all the time super duper lit i'm always talking to you guys and chatting it up if you guys want to know anything ask any question we can just chat it up so right now it is currently 5 42 earlier you guys saw me at walmart i went to go pick up Hold on. I went to go pick up some stuff from Walmart earlier. I have some orders to make. One one needs to be delivered by Friday and the other one needs to be delivered by Saturday because the function slash event is on Saturday. And it was last minute. It was for a friend. So I didn't really mind. But I'm not doing that no more because this is risky. Um, but me being out of school, I have enough time, so it's alright. First things first, I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be making the first thing that I might start on. I think I might start on it today. Um, are these stack pants? These are going to be men's stack pants, and um, in black. So I'm gonna have to dye these. These are the Wrangler pants in slim straight. Why they look so fat though? Oh my gosh, I hope they fit. They should though, right? These are the way fatter ones because these are gonna go at the bottom, but y'all gonna see the whole process later on. So yeah, I'm gonna set these out because I might end up dyeing them tonight. I might end up dyeing them overnight, letting them dry and everything tomorrow and then start working on them or putting them together Thursday. I don't know. I might just start working on them and finish them tomorrow. So then Friday I can have everything packaged and ready to deliver. This is the dye. This dye works perfectly fine for dyeing all purpose dye. And oh, speaking of, I went to Hobby Lobby like two weeks ago and I also got pink dye. I might end up making a pink outfit or I just might. If nobody asks for pink in the span of these next two to three weeks, I'm going to end up using it for myself. I know it's gonna be fired, but this is the black dye that I ended up getting. But I just had to show y'all that I got some pink dye. Cause pink dye, like today is May the 30th. And then some fabric glue. I'm planning on doing something with these shorts and I might make them like bedazzled or something. Y'all gonna see, it's gonna be super duper duper cute. So I bought this dye for that. And because, mind you, these are shorts that I'm working on, but I just didn't finish. Then last but not least, I got these boot cut pants because I'm going to be turning these pants into a two piece. We're going to be turning them into a dope two piece that I thought of in mind. Something real cute, something that, um. I wouldn't say real easy, but to think about it, to generate the idea and the vision was easy. But we're about to see how this goes. I'm gonna show you guys the vision that I have for this. Don't worry. This is gonna be a short set two-piece. I'm very excited to start working on this, which is also why I got this glue, so that I can kind of not have to do so much sewing. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the vision. First things first, I think we're going to start off by dyeing those bad boys down there for the pants that need to be delivered on friday go ahead and start dyeing and get the dye soaked in there good because the longer the time at least i heard the better the fabric takes in the dye so my, so my handy dandy fashion notebook and um just wait till i get an ipad i'm cutting all you i'm eating everybody up with breakfast lunch and dinner jk though i don't want to smoke i'm all up jk though for the thousand points let's do so this is the vision shorts with frailed edges what's it called distress finishes we're going to need to do a lot of seam ripping because i'm going to distress the bottom and we're going to use the waistband of the shorts for the top we're going to use the pants to create the top as well so yeah these shorts are going to be real cheeky real hot girl like you know 
mind you she let me freestyle it and i sent her the idea over and she loved it so you love it i love it and of course i gotta add my little finishing touches it looks like a lot of distressed um what's it called bro i can't think yeah i'm literally looking at my fashion glossary because i need to refresh my brain and i can't think of none of the words anyways y'all get what i'm trying to say but yeah it is currently 5.53. No, I mean, I really don't feel like changing, but I am about to put my hair up. For today's agenda, we're going to do the pre-work. So basically like on Thanksgiving, whenever you like prepping the, prepping the food. So why did I make that comparison? Best thing I could think of right now. Cutting out the letters tonight. Cutting out the shorts tonight. Yes great i just didn't want you guys to be lost i want to bring you guys along with the process so that's why i'm speaking to you guys thoroughly hey okay, guys so i just boiled some hot water i have the rates dye outside for the whole night and hopefully it does what it needs to be done i did end up getting black fingers unintentionally but mm, it's all right right now i'm searching up how to make heat transfer labels because i'm going to start adding my labels to my clothes which i should have been doing but i wasn't really thinking much of it yeah i didn't really know where to go from it do i want to do tags do i want to do labels like what on Etsy, you can get a pack of 100 for $34. So that's not bad, but I just gotta search up how to make it. It says it'll be here by the second or the third. There's one order that I specifically wanna put a label on and it's the two piece because that's made by me and my creativity. But the stack ones, you know, I'm okay with it, but maybe stitch a little something, I don't know. I wish I learned how to hand sew. Okay guys, so as you can see, I made the marks, the white lines, measurement, well guide, so I can know where to cut. I'm about to go ahead and start cutting. Why do they look kind of uneven though? Let me fix it one more time, then we're gonna get to cutting. No rush though, you never rush the process because if you want thorough, good work, it's gonna take time. I don't like to make clothes whenever I feel overwhelmed or tired. I just like to do it whenever I'm in a calm state and I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Not rushing. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I do have to rush though, but not a lot. So yeah, this feels good. Getting orders done a whole couple days in advance, you love that. I think that's straight now. What y'all thinking? I'm thinking we straight. We are very much straight. These look so good already. What am I talking about? But still, like y'all see, like just the evenness is great. That's what we love. We're moving this. This is what I was talking about when I said waistband, distressing this, taking that off, taking the pockets off. Uh uh. And yeah, I can't wait. So I'm gonna take you guys through my thought process. So I'm debating if I want to cut. Cameron, can you close your door, please? So I'm debating if I want to take off the waistband because if I take the waistband off, well, the zipper may be exposed. I guess it wouldn't look bad. The the stitching is already kind of like similar to the zipper color, so it wouldn't be too crazy, but it's just a chance. And I'm trying to decide is it worth taking that chance. Right now I'm working on, I decided to go ahead and work on the bottom to top. And I'm going to try to fulfill this look that I did with these shorts. Just very distressed all over. This is a whole different type of fabric. 
very much thicker and not Walmart, but we're gonna do the best that we can with what we got. Y'all, this is so dull. I've used it so much. Like, it don't even look sharp. Like, look at that. I mean, it's literally no sharp. It's like around. P.O. box down below if anyone feeling generous, you know? For a hard working black team queen. <laughs> Hand cream. Mm. But the bottom looking pleasurable. Looking nice. Go so turkey and ham on it. And just go at it. This is approximately like 30 minutes longer. Yes, it was very time consuming. Took the whole way spin off. I didn't just cut it. I actually had to go in with the thread. And Making progress. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and depocket them as well. Or go ahead and distress the waistband. And I decided that I'm just gonna do the letters tomorrow and then the whole Thursday I'm gonna work on the top. About 30 minutes later, one short pocket off. It takes so long. I so wish I picked up another one of these when I saw it. But we're making the best of it. And it's currently 11:13 at night. I'm not gonna stop until I finish what I'm doing. Then that's when we take a break. Cute, cute, cute. Wasteman time. Y'all, I know I said I was gonna stop at the pockets, but mine is well. <laughs> with the pants in it and one with regular water. very easy all I did was wash out the dye in a separate bucket with water as you guys saw and I left it outside to air dry because I heard putting it in the dryer can fade the colors but I'm gonna go to volleyball practice come back um try to finish up these shorts um then I'll check on them I'm gonna give them like three to four hours to dry because it's pretty windy outside and it's good weather luckily I did it a couple days in advance so that if it needs a whole day to dry that's fine. We have tomorrow, which is Thursday. But I'm about to go to volleyball practice um, for the first time in like six months. I've been running track. I'm a tracker now, but I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes. See y'all when I get back. Or should I just bring you guys along? Um. Oh yeah, and even better news, I ordered a drill, right? I ordered like, no, I ordered it like Monday, late, 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 Monday night. And so it came in just in time. So if I did, they did ask for distressing. I was just going to use my little seam ripper, which is holding on by a thread. But that came. So now we can really do our big one with it. I'm going to show you guys every step of the way. But for real, I'm going to leave. I'm going to catch y'all later. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm just getting done with practice. And oh my gosh, my lace done slid back. Y'all, it's not even funny, like, <laughs> y'all, y'all, I, I wish I was joking, but y'all, this is not even funny. It's sad, and it's embarrassing. Oh my god, it's like semi-soda. I thought y'all were gonna see that lace. Y'all wrong. 
and I'm not about to fix it just to go to sleep. Yeah, I feel like just be having stuff and the next thing you know, you don't got it. Like what would be going on? I don't care. Long as I don't gotta see what I just what I saw at practice. Cause, but I really didn't care at the moment because it's like so I did end up putting the um pants back in the dye because whenever I dried them, because I did end up drying them because I figured that if I let them air dry, this is this process is gonna take forever. In the washing machine, and then I put them on in the dryer. And it's like they came out blotchy the top on the bottom it came out like patchy looking and then the, the pair of pants that i put deep down at the bottom they came out like patchy looking and then the ones that were on the top they came out pretty good but i ended up after um i saw them kind of look whenever they dry i ended up throwing them right back in some new dye i just so happened to have another pack so i opened that up put them in there and I have like 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left until those should be good and then I'll put them in the washing machine again and then put them in the dryer. And then yeah, we're just gonna see how that goes. But right now, I'm just about to continue to work on the two piece by cutting out the letters and cutting out the letters and starting on the top. Bro, I was looking for the brush and the brush was I can't make it up. First, let's do this little unboxing. Um, Steam Ripper. I also found my other Steam Ripper. So, we good. But I really don't need it now that I have a drill so much. So, I was watching a little YouTube video. I searched up how to make distressed jeans. And this was the drill that he was using. This is she. I ordered it literally the same minute I saw the video. Her, this was like $25 for all of this. We open it up. Your Eli, why they testing me? Like, I always keep the hammer next to me. Like, I ain't got a hitter to the left of me. This is she, looking real powerful. Charger or whatever. I kind of wanted it to be, um, wireless but i mean this is fine too for the price that i got it for i'm not complaining how you put it back in there comes with so many well i have some leftover american eagle um fabric that i was using for something i can't exactly remember but y'all look they're almost the exact colors so i'm going to be using this fabric for the letters and we're going to fill this up i've measured and if i want it to fit like like the letters to fit the whole canvas slash cheek it needs to be about the letters have to be about six inches so s h y y six inches and about three centimeters wide y'all pay attention to math class it helps it really does for times like this. Now this is where we at. I'm making the outline. Then we're gonna cut it out after. No, it, it's pretty easy. I have my little perfections. This one looks a little bit more skinnier, so we're just gonna add a little bit. Gotta save some because we're gonna make the, this S right here, like a dollar sign. I need to fix this S up a little bit, not gonna lie. We about to get to work. I'm trying to see how I want the layout to be. Mind you, I still have to distress this, like the edges and stuff. But I'm trying to see how I want the layout to be. Or do I just want it to all be straight? Do I want them to be like, I don't know. We gonna figure it out. So we about to go ahead and open up our E600 and see what the hype about. It just looks strong. I already know. I already know what I'm trying to do. I'm already not. I start having morning practices tomorrow. But that means I gotta be up at 8 o'clock. Well, I gotta be at practice by 8 o'clock. The thing you can do for a sport that you love, bro. But this one was like $4 and it came with the tips and everything. So, yeah, let's get to work.
Her. So I use the glue and we're really good with the tips. Make sure you get the pack with tips because there's also a pack for like a dollar less without it. But the tips made it so much more easier. And um yeah, like we good. It's drying right now. Literally probably an hour of I don't know what took so long, bro, but it was literally so frustrating. So guys, this is she. Did a little distressing work with my little um drill. And it turned out cute. A little bit more distressing work. For sure, now that I underpriced, but it was because I didn't know that my plan would be executed so well. So now, but you know, it's okay because I know for the next time and I'd rather I don't know, I just rather not overprice, but there's really no such thing as overpriced unless you feel like your work isn't valued that amount. But yeah, that's another thing I have priced um, trouble. But I think I have a firm price as of right now. And um, whenever I get everything together, I will soon have a site and stuff like that. Which should be soon because it's summertime and y'all been requesting and asking. So I'm not gonna be weird to y'all and keep it from y'all, no. I'm looking at myself upside down, so if I look crazy, I don't know because my viewfinder is broken. That's so not funny at all, but still, like, you're free. I fell on my face, got up on my own. Yeah, go check out my TikTok. It's in the link down below. I just made one. But anyways, so I made some alter, I'm about to make some alterations. This is the top. Um. I will actually I'm about to take this off right now yeah we about to take this tag off because this is no longer their work but anyways wait before we do that let me show you guys the vision so I have everything pinned this is the front per per this is the sides that needs to be put together no 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 this is the amount that needs to be taken in and just like that it's off we can use that for something else I don't know but yeah now we talking baby girl yes now we are talking yeah I'm about to do this up and then I'm gonna get back to you guys <laughs> So I'm sitting here or whatever. We made a lot of progress, by the way. But I'm just like, I was debating. Like, you know, should I execute this how I really want to do it? Or should I just do, because of the price that I told the person, whatever. And I was going to like, not execute and put my all to it, into it at first. But I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Because this is a freestyle skirt. So they're asking me to just, you know do what I do on it basically I was debating like 
you know my creativity like this creativity the, the thought that the idea that i have it is really good and i'm doing it right now but i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but it's just like whatever you do just do it to the fullest and to the best and it'll most likely pay off it is gonna pay off but yeah right now i'm just fixing the belt loops because y'all know i had to cut them off whatever and everything is moving pretty swiftly i'm basically done with this this is just like the finishing touches then I'm going to add a little bit of distressing to the top. And we're going to eat. Yeah. Yeah. I had 200 for lunch. That's not that on the cunt. 24 shows in a month. Look at that time it was crunch. Ice. That means it's crunch. No EP, but my t-shirt is tough. Cold as a slush, belly rinse on, sipping a test. Go get it a must, but go get it a pussy no must. Loving that lust, my cool lawyer, we trusted in us. Yeah, money need up, put that shit out there, gun in a month. Yeah, look at that glitz, see what I mean. You gotta be faces, you pink and green, my neck. What's on the screen? Cross on the car, three care for the dreams. Feel like a punky, but you got my sleeve. I'm cool on you, drunk, I got no one to flee. I'm smoking inside it. Guys, so it is currently um, Friday, I believe, like the fourth or the fifth. Currently, the third day of my of this art, of this collective art vlog. And today, we are going to be doing the stacks. The person that I'm making them for, yes, I did originally say that I was going to be delivering them today, but they said that tomorrow will work. So I said, okay. I already finished the other order that I was working on. Already packaged and everything. We chose with gold wrapping. Yes. Um, next time I'm gonna show you, like with this order, I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap and everything and package the orders. I didn't do it for that order cause I was just chilling. And the way I was looking was not, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Now I'm about to work on these stacks. Um, and another good reason why I'm glad that I can, he chose to deliver tomorrow is because I think I may need to re-dye these pants because to me, it still doesn't really give black. And it's just like, I don't understand why are these pants so hard to dye? Like why is denim so hard to dye or am I dyeing it wrong or what? Cause the first time I dyed it, I left it in there for a whole day. The second time I dyed it, I left it in there for another whole day. I'm trying to figure out why is it like black but it looks like real real dark blue at the same time it looks black but it looks real real, real dark blue at the same time like it has a tint of blue but yeah we're about to start on these men stacks i can't wait i get to put my drill in full effect Hi. and with the help of my brother he's going to Hi. be helping make clothes for the first time so make sure you like and subscribe and comment anyways y'all let's get into making these pants it's currently eight o'clock i don't know how do I inevitably end up making clothes or starting on clothes at nighttime? But it just feels like nighttime is like whenever I my day gets started for some reason. Like I'm a little bit more, I don't know. It's a bad habit though. But anyways, we're about to get into making these pants. Yeah. Shall we? Everything good, everything straight. A little bit of parts we gotta fix, nothing major though, but. Mm -hmm. And if I 
for sending me over these amazing pieces all of the pieces fit so well except for this black dress that you guys are going to see all of their pieces are really trendy affordable and have a fast shipping and they always have amazing deals all of the links to the items will be down below in the description for you guys if you guys want to purchase you guys should definitely head over to your style and check out some of their amazing pieces now that I'm thinking about it, I just realized that I delivered a package and I didn't even record it. But I didn't really know how to feel about recording, like going up to someone's house and just like, you know? But yeah, I delivered the two-piece today and um, I'm also going to be delivering the stacked jeans that I finished, you guys. So I ended up going to Walmart and grabbing two of the Ritz restorative like dye it's like clear so that the dye can really capture into the pants and i ended up dyeing the pants for a third time bro a third time i don't know what did i do the first two times where it went wrong well the first time that it went wrong the second time it just semi got darker i don't know what happened but it's black now and that's all that matters yeah because before it was like dark blue and even in the stitching and like the stitches and stuff you can tell that it's black this time i ended up boiling some water, put it in the bucket, using the Ritz dye, getting the Ritz dye, put it in the bucket, stirring it, stirring it. I didn't use salt this time, putting it in the bucket, then letting it sit for a whole hour, taking it out, putting it in the restorative dye to keep the dye. It makes like the colors vibe more vibrant and it makes sure that it um, captures all of the dye and stuff so that whenever I rinse it, all of the dye doesn't come out. So I put it in there and then I threw it in the dryer. And here we are. Finally, 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 finally. Let me show y'all how long these pants are. But if you know anything about stacks, you know that this is definitely how it's supposed to look. And the person who's getting them, he's like 6'2". So this is going to be the perfect length for him. Although it looks long, it might even be a little bit shorter than usual. But um, we'll be fine. And I'm just glad that I'm done. I did a little bit of distressing. Whenever like the pants are stacked, you can see a little bit of the distressing, distressing on the pockets as well. Did a little bit of, a little bit of accents at the waistband. Now I didn't put a panel, I didn't put any um, fabric underneath here only because the pocket is right here. So as long as the pocket doesn't come up, then yeah, it'd be fine. So instead of skin showing, I ended up putting a little, I ended up putting fabric under there. But if he does want his skin to show, then you know, you can always just rip it and then yeah, you'll be fine. But yeah, I think I did a pretty darn good job for the first time doing boy stacks. I've made myself some stacks and my friend some stacks, but it was nothing. This is really an opportunity and I really do enjoy what I do. And I hope that one day I'm able to have my own line and just, you know, at first I was saying, you know, no, I don't want to have a fashion business. I don't want to start a fashion business. I don't really want to have a clothing brand because everybody's doing it, but it's not about who I was doing it. It's who's doing it the best. And my ideas, I know that I'm capable of coming up with very creative things and things out of this world like that. Nobody has yet to see. So I just feel like instead I should change my mindset. If I keep attracting and I keep you know, ending up making clothes and stuff, then obviously it's meant it's meant for me to start something. That's also in the making. Um, stay tuned for that. Subscribe. The video's not over, but I'm just letting y'all know. 
Because if you sit here watching, you watch all the way through this video and you subscribe. What's up? Just like that, I forgot to show you guys how bad I struggled putting these big pants in this pick, um, mailer. But this is my packaging. I ended up putting black paper on the inside. And I really wish I showed you guys. But here we are. We did it, hooray, like, oh my gosh. Great, these pants gave me a hard freaking time. Back in touch with her, used to talk a lot. Used to down a ride, I came through this hot and box. 